The Great Lakes have a plastic problem. There's literally tons of it in and around the water. Yeah, so many people trying to find ways to clean it up and Doug Reardon shows us like with a lot of things, it's actually uh, not people right now, it's technology that is trying to solve the issue. There are millions of pounds of trash lining the Great Lakes, and it's all caused by humans. So how do we fix it? Well, Meyer is trying something distinctly not human. On the sandy shores of Pier Marquette Beach in Mesquite, beachcombers Jeff Hamill and his wife Nicole are looking for something, anything, of interest or value. Nickel. It's not been their best day. Not so far, not for me pocket full of coins, you know. But in their hunt for treasure, which they have found a little of, the couple also finds a lot of something else. So we clean up the beach too. Anything that we uh, dig up, we take with us and throw away. So a bunch of pull tabs and uh, bottle caps, which if people are out here barefoot, the bottle caps and cut their feet. We pick up glass, we pick up pretty much any garbage as we go, you know. It's kind of a rule of thumb when you metal detect. But now Jeff and others who want to see the Lake Michigan shoreline cleaner are getting some help from technology, a $1 million donation from Meyer to the Council of the Great Lakes region have brought the sand sifting Bebot drone to the West Michigan shore and the Pixie drone to clear the water of trash and dangerous plastics. An estimated 22 million pounds of plastic enters the Great Lakes annually, threatening wildlife and the drinking water source for some 40 million Americans and Canadians. Door in the back that's uh, that's closing, you know, so that there's no trash that escapes. Gautier Pierce with Serial Cleaners runs the drones, and he says having an operator nearby at all times is also good for starting very important conversations. Yeah, I want to keep that opportunity to always like catch people attention and then like start a conversation with them. Just before, you know, I was testing the technologies here, uh, uh, the B-Bot here, and then there were like four people coming to me and, you know, starting asking questions. Uh, and this is what I want to do. So with a mess created by man, this is a plastic fragment. Maybe a machine can help clean it up. Jeff just hopes it leaves behind some of the good stuff. I'm, I'm waiting for him to move the machine so I can go over and scan that pile and see exactly what it picks up. And these machines won't just be used to clean up here at Pier Marquette. Different versions of them will be used to clean up the entire Great Lakes region. In Muskegon, Doug Reardon, Fox 17 News.